Hello, modern stutters. I was in sync with Mr. Biggs there. That's pretty neat. It is a balmy 48 degrees out this afternoon. Man, I'm loving this. We have plenty of snow still. I bet the sap is running. We need to check our sap buckets. And then we gotta come up with an idea of how to store our sap over this coming week so it doesn't get too hot and start growing bacteria because we won't be boiling until Saturday. But I got an idea. I had this box show up today. Perishable, open immediately. Uh-oh. I think I might know what it is. But I'm gonna wait till the girls get home until we open it. I think we're gonna need the tractor today. So while we're feeding the animals, let's get the tractor running and warming up. I know there's a lot of modern steaders that don't want us to harvest our pigs, but that's one of the reasons we modern homestead and we raise our pigs. It's for delicious food, bacon being number one of them. But we're gonna honor our pigs and we eat all of them. Nothing goes to waste here at Lumna Acres. We're having Andy and Doug from Hand Hewn Farm back out. We're gonna be doing another three day pasture to plate whole hog harvesting class culinary class I should say. We're gonna be doing a lot of delicious cooking too. Making the mayo the other day, that was just the beginning of it. We're gonna be doing some delicious cooking videos here pretty soon. Oh, I'm getting excited. So I have an idea. Stick with me here for a minute. But we got this big old monster snowbank. Let's put it to use. Come on. It's a big snowball! I think we got a nice little dugout here that we can stick the 55 gallon drum in it and that'll help keep the sap nice and cold. I'm not afraid to use a pink ratchet strap either. Thanks Bill, we love it. The springtime snow is pretty mealy. If you look at it close right now, it's almost all like a slush puppy. It's kind of wild to think though. Here it is, we got, probably walking on almost a foot of snow. It's about 50 degrees out. I love this time of the year. Let's see if it's dripping. A little bit. Nice and cold. The sap gets too warm, it'll start to grow bacteria. From what I'm told, it's little white hairy looking things growing in your sap. I need a new funnel. I think I found one the other day. I just gotta break down and order it now. All right, let's go out in the woods 
and swap out our empty bucket out here in the woods. Let's see what we got. Not much. We'll swap it out. I don't think the sap in this tree started really running today. A lot of ice in the bottom of the bucket. That tells me that's from yesterday and it froze overnight. Whew. Walking through the woods with a camera and a bucket. Not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, almost half a bucket. And the leaf. You know what? While we're right here, let's check and see how the chicks are doing in New York City. I hear them. Look at them. They like the cave. Bring some more food out later on for them. Turbo feed is working awesome out here. And then our horizontal poultry nipplers are working good in a five gallon bucket. a bucket. Yes! Now it's still frozen from last night's or yesterday's I should say. It's kind of crazy. It's 48 degrees out right now. This morning it was 10 when I woke up. I think Saturday, I'm gonna have a good day boiling. More ice, I like it. Amount. And there's still quite a bit of ice in this bucket too. And the sap's not pouring out of the tap, so be curious to see when the flow really starts going. Right now I have four buckets left to collect and we already have 10, eh, 10 or 11 gallons of sap. And the last four from our best producing trees. We got one, two, three, and the last one behind the snowbank. I'd be curious to see, I'm curious to see how much more we get out of these four trees. About half full. This one's from the 
biggest tree from our biggest maple tree we have on the property. We've got about three quarters of our bucket full. I'll get the last tree from over here. Whoa, it's a good one. We got about the same amount of sap out of this tree as our biggest one. Doing good. Let's go get the last load. Yeah, I think this is the fullest bucket yet. Don't want to spill any. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see what we have. So the barrel's pretty darn level. I'm happy with that. 15 gallon marks here, sap lines here, 25 gallon marks there. So I'm gonna call that 22 gallons. That is awesome. That's from 10 taps in a day. And it's gonna be even warmer tomorrow. Let's get it in the snowbank so it don't spoil. It's crazy how sticky my hands are. And the only thing I've been playing with is sap. It's not syrup, so with all that water, it's not like a super concentrated stickiness, but I'm excited. The girl should be here any minute. We can see what's inside that box. The reason I'm going through all this is most people boil their sap that day they collect it. Between work and YouTube and family, they don't have time to boil every night. If I did, there'd be quite a few things not getting completed. So we're gonna save it up and we'll do it on the weekend. Keep an eye on the sap. It should stay cold enough this way. It's gonna get down again tonight into the teens. So hopefully it'll freeze. And then being in the snowbank, it shouldn't melt too much tomorrow. We can just keep adding to it throughout the week. It's gonna be exciting to see how much sap we have by the end of the week. Ooh, ooh, what'd we get, what'd we get? You ready to open the box? Yeah. Okay, go for it. What do we got? Oranges. We got some fruit from Florida because of a Martin Stetter down there. Doesn't want us to get scurvy. That's what it says. That's what it says. That's scurvy. A scurvy is the disease the pirates used to get because they didn't have vitamin C. Oh, good thing I didn't get vitamin C every day. <laughs> I didn't know I could get scurvy. Well, that's what happens when you live in what Northern New Hampshire. What happens when you get scurvy? You got crazy? Because I might have. You're right. You better have an orange. They're sent from Marco Island, Florida. Thanks, Rick, for the oranges. Now we don't have to worry about getting scurvy this year. What was it good? <laughs> you can't talk. You can't talk. Thanks for coming along on our crazy journey with us today. We got. Oh, 
22 gallons of maple sap sitting in the snowbank, so Gina's happy, right? It's not just sitting out yet. Yeah. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, now's a great time to subscribe. Watch out before Figaro gets you, Libby's. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at London Acres, A Guide to Modern Home Setting, Slush Treasant Sea, and Freedom. Bye. Scurry, 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 scurry. Bye. Bye. Scurry.